is the energy vibration reading for all the um, um, scorpion sun moon and rising sorry um, it is the week of Valentine's happy Valentine's to everyone um, this week is beginning from the 12 until the 18 and the week is the energy of the moon so this is a good week for you guys um, hoping um, for everyone that you have found the love of your life if not soon and enjoy this week the energy of the moon comes with the energy of hair you are a water sign you don't like water and hair so um, let's see what is going to come out thank you so much for supporting likes and shares thank you so much Monday you have the energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse okay so um, I don't know I can shuffle this card ten times she is coming up in the reverse form she has been coming up in readings because whatever is happening a lot of people are having a sort of a situation that is happening um, this um, Queen of Wands is coming up in the reverse position on Monday on Tuesday um, you have the energy of being stabbed in the back ten of swords um, <laughs> Wednesday you have the energy of the Prince of Cups, which uh, the Prince of Cups, which is yourself. And on Thursday, let's see what is happening. You have the energy of the Seven of Cups. There is new possibilities, new things that are about to come in your life. As we look at Friday, let's see what is happening. You have pro protected, you're spiritually protected on Friday. Saturday you have the princess of Pentacles and on a Sunday you have the energy of the two of Pentacles balancing out your emotion and you have the energy of the Queen of Swords in the reverse form so this is good so whoever that has been having relationships new love is coming out for most of you scorpions whoever that has been having relationships with the Aquarians Gemini or Libra this has come to an end okay whoever this person is this has come to an end so if you were having um, you know um, marital whatever relationship with someone who um, is or an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra this is coming to an end as we look forward and we see the energy of the ace of cups this is a wonderful positive energies here we are and we have insolent this has been coming up for a lot of people so um, there is a situation that is coming up I'm gonna ask questions about this because this has been coming up for a lot of sign especially in this week then we have the energy of the um, King of Swords coming at you, but he can't reach you for whatever reason. So this is good. And then we have um, the Six of Pentacles. So the, the Six of Wands. So this is good. Good news is on its way for you. The Six of Wands. Good news is on its way for you. This is wonderful. This is good. Whatever has transpired, whoever this Queen of Sword was and whatever she was doing. Um, her reign and the king of swords reign is as come to an end okay and then you have the energy of the ten of cups a lot of you water sign are receiving the energy of the ten of cups so in the beginning of the week whatever in the middle of the week whatever that was transpiring are at the beginning of the week whatever that was transpiring you are having the energy of the the ten of cups and new love is coming out a lot of people because on Wednesday which is Valentine's Day it's gonna be very good for you men out there um, you young men between the ages of 18 and 45 there is gonna be a lot of wonderful wonderful situations new love that is coming in victory and success is coming Wednesday evening it's gonna be fantastic because you're going to be meeting someone and um, you're going to be realizing that a lot of love is coming up and a lot of love is coming out okay so this is good this is a good week for you cancers and it is your week there's a lot of new love happiness in your family with your family life and that sort of a thing and then you have the energy of the four of Pentacles good news is coming about 
your um, financial situation so this is going to be very good okay so what, whatever is happening the energy of new love is coming in your life new positive love this is good this is wonderful whatever the situation is whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring new love is coming in your life it's as if people have seen what has been happening what has been transpiring and um, wonderful positive new love is coming into your life you're protected in this time against the princess of pentacles and the princess of pentacles could be um, and is the princess of pentacles is someone between the ages of 18 and 45 or 18 and 40 they're saying 18 and 40 and they always correct me when I'm not saying the right thing because I do channel and um, whatever the energy is the Sun is going to come out because um, it's a good match um, if you're thinking about to have a relationship with someone who is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn this is going to be a good match for you um, um, scorpions okay this is going to be an extremely a good match for you scorpions so this is a wonderful energy wonderful situation that are coming out um, this is good it's as if uh, um, the ten of cups is your family life this is going to be wonderful um, this is going to be extremely extremely positive whatever that is transpiring um, in your family life okay and then as we look at the end whatever your burden was is going to be coming to an end so whatever your burden was is going to be coming to an end at the end of the day you have the energy with the queen of um, ones and whatever that has transpired with you and this queen of ones you're going to be victorious and successful over this and there is going to be new things that is coming up for you okay so um as i look at your week and i'm looking at your week and i'm focusing on your week and this is um so very important for you guys in this week because um this is a lucky wonderful um, um energy for you guys and what is happening and what is transpiring is that for you scorpions you have been dealing with um the princess of um Sword, Princess of Swords is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Sag or a Libra, and and um, finally, it's as if this person was just so very bad and so very sick, you know, um, and 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 whoever this person, she had you under control, she had you under some form of control, whatever that control is, whether with sex, food, or you know, because this is something that people are not aware. You need to be careful, especially, and um, some people do know about this um, um, with different cultures and different things because I am aware of it because of certain cultures and certain things. And, you know, my life I spend, um, I think I can look at people and they're always on their telephone. My life is spent reading books. I um, fulfill myself with information. And I was... I have been aware for a long long time and I remember I knew a, a someone who you know she told me something and I was like oh my god that is so, so sick and I really realized that in certain different cultures and different cultures in the world that people will manipulate how certain relationships and certain people and certain things affect your life and when they can't get to manipulate you as a person they will try it via your food so you have to be very careful what you do because people will do this and um like sometimes you see people in relationship that they can't they hate each other but they can't leave each other it's because for some reason someone um had um either the man or the woman which is um, yeah we are all female but I'm gonna tell you the truth most time women do this you're not supposed to do this because this is something that affects a lot of relationship and a lot of situation there is karma your kids are going to pay for it your grandkids are going to pay for it stop doing these things people stop use um, different sort of energy and different sort of things 
to um, heal people and put in people food because this is just basically sick and this is what has transpired for someone out there you have been with someone who's an um, an Aquarius a Libra or a Sagittarius uh, no or a um, uh, Gemini and this person had you on the total control whatever has happened someone has helped you out of this situation okay someone has stepped in justice has stepped in and helped you out of the situation and now um you have and you can the possibility is open for you to have different people in your life this is really sick this is really a sick person okay this is an extremely sick person um i saw this for the gemini um a couple of years ago and now I'm seeing this for the the, um, the scorpions what are happening um, it does happen um, do not draw the wool over your eyes um, the world needs to open up to um, different sort of culture different sort of things that happen but not to worry because the energy of the Sun and new love is coming out there is the energy of the Sun new love is coming out and victory and success so you're going to overcome all of this situation that you were having to deal with um, whoever this person was an Aquarius Gemini um, or Libra that has have your life you were spiritually protected and you need to um, be thankful to your guides and angel because they have been protecting you through the situation because you have no idea what you have gone through as we look further uh, to the ending of the week you're seeing the energy of new love and um, there is someone new that is going to come into your life this person is a um, a, 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 a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn and this is a very very nice person um, what you're seeing here is that whatever that has transpired whatever burden that you're carrying it's going to the energy of the Sun comes and that burden is going to go away um, you're gonna have a happy family life because once uh, whoever you were um, having um, situations with in your life you're going to see that this person is being removed from your life and you're connecting back with your families and this is good because sometimes you have some real horrible people that comes in people life and you know it's a sick situation when um, you see your kids um, dealing with someone who is so very sick and your kid cannot see exactly what is happening because they've manipulated your child so much that you're not seeing exactly what is happening to the child and sometimes all you have to do is to pray and step back from the situation and pray and you know um, you know let the universe take care of it because sometimes your child um, and sometimes you know what I'm seeing is that this person was sent in your child life you this your child would have never ever ever look at this person in the la in, 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 in you know like the last days you know it's not someone but um, you know with everything the ace of cups is here twice um, it's a, a new soulmate relationship is coming in so for um, the people who have kids who are um, scorpions and sometimes you listen to their messages um, there is a win-win situation finally your kid is going to be released from the uh, the ends of the negative person that has been affecting your child lives okay um, let's see what other messages coming out this is beautiful remembrance so for you Scorpio what they're saying is you know they've they've, they've let you um, go through this karmatic situation so you, you can remember that there is a higher power to everything and whenever you realize that and whenever it's time for you to really see um, the, um, the the people and their the energies that they carry around you it's a, like it's a time to wake up and remember who you are and you know remove whatever that has been transpiring in your life and this is what is going to happen to you Pisces so you I'm sorry I'm sorry okay don't mail me about this is the scorpions to you scorpions I'm so sorry um this is the last reading and um I have been going at this <laughs> I have a full week but yet still this is Valentine's reading I've been going at this for such a long time so um you scorpions I'm happy that finally um, certain things is going to be happening for you guys you deserve some happiness in your life 
whatever that has been happening whatever that has been transpiring you need to have uh, um, this happiness uh, new love is coming in for you um, Scorpio new love is coming in um, for the men who are going to be connecting with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this is a good match for you this is um, a soulmate relationship a love that was sent to you from the universe okay you have the energy of the ace of cups um, this is a very wonderful um, time in your life good things are happening for you good things is about to start for you and you need to understand that um, whatever destruction or whatever um, horrible energies that you have gone through with people it's because you needed to learn a lesson okay um, the message for you guys uh, for Valentine the message for you guys for Valentine is the more energy and intention I bring to my fate the more fearlessness and freeness I am isn't this beautiful it is um, this is from the universe have your back I got this for my Valentine's and I am sharing this with you guys too so this is a wonderful deck I love this deck it's so simple so nice but it's so beautiful and for you scorpions it says the more energy and intention you bring to your fate the more fearlessness and freer you are isn't this wonderful yes it is it is a very very positive energy to end this Valentine's week on but before I go um, I have to show you something else it's not really um, something that is in your reading this one is not in your reading but it's looking um, it's looking on it's looking on you know it's it's it's, it's looking on it's as if uh, um, it's as if a new love is looking on for a lot of you twice twice the cups of new love this is this is extremely positive um uh, some people think that money you know the Pentacles is is you know wonderful but this is um, the most positive energy that you can ever have and this love love is the most powerful powerful um, situation that can comes in your life and this is um, so 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 powerful because what is happening is that the energy of love um, is there for you um, scorpions and this is good I am you know and I was closing off your reading when I, uh, they asked me to go back and let you know that um, especially for you pi you you uh, scorpion men um, love the power of love is going to come in for you um, the power this this power of love is going to come in for you like nothing else you know and um, this is going to be good because whenever the ace of um, whenever the ace comes up this is um, you know just positive whenever the ace of cups comes up it's all about the feminine prince the, the feminine principle which is love um, women are from Venus okay love and it's all about love and happiness whenever the ace of cups comes up it's all about love and happiness it's all a grail and uh, you know when they say the holy grail if you look at this it's like the love of the Holy Grail. This is coming from the source of all things. This is one of the most beautiful way to portray this cup, and this is why I love this card deck so much. Um, um, the person Vanessa who made this, uh, she is, I think, she is Belgian because she also speaks Dutch. Um, she's very, she's a beautiful soul. She really got the gift of making these cards. It's one of the best card set ever. It's a sun and moon her card set deck. I will um, show you. This is the deck. Um, it's the most beautiful um, card deck I have ever ever had. I remember I bought this for my birthday, and you know that this is the perfect. Um, description of the ace of cup the holy grail you know this old 
um, the shape of the universal love that is coming in integrity and in, in, in harmony this is the old in the emotion of integrity and harmony the rainbow indicates careful expression of inner emotions sun rays illumination love with wisdom so this is you know and this is why it's called the old grail um, Sun ray illuminates the lotus, represent the trusting heart that offers no resistance, and this is so wonderful. It offers no resistance, a trusting heart that offers no resistance, and this is what is coming in for you. A lot of you women are going to be um, ending up in a relationship with the energy of the Prince of Wands, okay? So if you um if you are a um if you are a um um someone between the ages of 25 and 45 you are going to be connecting with the prince of cups the prince of cups now the prince of cups is um a wonderful person especially in relationship when they love you they love you world without end i can you know tell you that prince of wands is the energy of the hair and fire prince of wands is you know he has hair and fire hair and fire need fire and water but hair and fire because he's always going with passion he has the and he's on a horse so he's going with the hair and passion and what is happening here is that um, you ladies are going to be you know falling in love with this person because he carries hair and fire within his uh, radiance but this is uh, helpful and um, assuring the Phoenix um, the one signify transformation and spiritual growth the target of symbols so this is going to be very wonderful in a very very positive week for a lot of people um, a lot of you um, and especially the princess the prince of wands the prince the, uh, the, the 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 people from 18 and older um, you are going to be victorious Jupiter is Jupiter is in Leo and this is going to be good for you guys because when Jupiter is in Leo it's expansion flexibility and creativity a beneficial relationship is going to begin for you and there is going to be a win-win situation a creative day breakthrough that leads to success and recognition and a celebration a joyful um, celebration is going to be happening for you um, um, Pisces okay you uh, sorry I keep on saying Pisces I don't know why for you scorpions so again i want to say i love you guys so much i'm wishing you all the luck um your life is going to be wonderful ten of cups ace of cups four of pentacles you're balancing out your world and this is going to be fantastic i love you guys i want to say bye until next week namaste